iCloud Drive is a new iCloud feature for Macs running OS X Yosemite and iOS devices running iOS 8. To use iCloud Drive, make sure it's activated in the iCloud settings on your iOS device. And on a Mac, iCloud Drive is activated in the iCloud System Preference pane. As long as I'm signed in to both my Mac and iPad with the same iCloud account, iCloud Drive will sync any files within it between the two devices. I'll also be able to access iCloud Drive from iCloud.com. I'm going to start here in the iCloud Drive folder on my Mac. Currently, I only have folders for apps that are utilizing iCloud Drive. Within the Pages folder, I have a couple pages documents and a folder. If I open the Pages iOS app and tap Documents, I can see the same files are available here. Tap Create a Document, and then give it a name, and this new Pages document will appear over in the iCloud Drive Pages folder on my Mac. This isn't much different than how this worked in iOS 7 and OS 10 Mavericks when it was referred to as Documents in the Cloud. With that, you could only access the files within each app. There is no folder I could open on the Mac to see all my iCloud documents. The major difference with iCloud Drive is that I can add my own folders and files to iCloud Drive and organize them how I like. I'm going to go out to the main iCloud Drive folder and create a new folder here called Project. Then I'll drag in a few files from my desktop. So now within this folder I have a keynote presentation, a numbers spreadsheet, a pages document, and an image file. So how can I go about opening this Pages document in the Project 1 folder on my iPad? In the Pages app, tap the plus button in the upper left, then iCloud. This will display all the folders in my iCloud drive. Here's the Pages folder that we were looking at earlier. Down a little further is my Project folder. Tap on this and notice that the only file here that I can tap on right now is the Pages document, since I'm using the Pages app. I'll open the sample report. When I do that, the file is also added to the Pages folder in iCloud Drive. Notice over on my Mac that it actually gets a label saying that it's in iCloud Drive. So the file here and the one in my project folder are one and the same. I can open either one up from my Mac or my iPad, edit it, and the changes will be saved and synced across all my iCloud Drive devices. What this lets you do is organize files and folders on your iCloud Drive however you like just how you might do it in the Documents folder on your Mac. But with iCloud Drive, all the files and folders are accessible from iOS devices and iCloud.com. Back in Pages on my iPad now, I can also utilize iCloud Drive to add files to Documents. I'm going to add an image file to this page's document. So I'm going to tap the plus button here. And then, rather than browsing through the photos stored on my iPad, I'll tap Insert From. Here again, I see my iCloud Drive. I'll go into my project folder and select the image file to place it into the document. As I go out to the Documents view, the updated file is uploaded to iCloud, 
and now I can open it over on my iMac. It's also possible to export or share a file to iCloud Drive. I'm going to open up this geology report and then tap the share button here. Tap send a copy and I can then choose the file format I want to send. I'll select PDF and then tap the send to button here. That brings up my iCloud Drive and I can select where I want to save this PDF. Tap export to this location and the file saved. Over on my Mac, the PDF file will open in preview. Finally, let's look at iCloud Drive on iCloud.com. Select the iCloud Drive button here and all my folders are displayed. All these files can be opened right here within my web browser. So if you're away from any of your iCloud enabled devices, you can use any computer, Mac or PC, to log into iCloud.com. Then view and even edit these files using the iCloud.com versions of Pages, Numbers, or Keynote. Any files saved on iCloud Drive will count against your iCloud storage allotment. So it might not be something you want to use for all your files. Probably only the ones you know you'll need to access from all your devices. Remember though, you can always increase your iCloud storage limit. 200 gigabytes of storage is just a few dollars a month. And you can get up to a terabyte of iCloud storage. These storage plans are purchased through your iTunes account. So iTunes gift card balances can be applied to them. You can find iTunes gift cards on sale fairly regularly online or at retail stores like Best Buy, Target, and others. So I like to purchase a $100 iTunes gift card that's on sale for $80 or $85 and use that to get some discount on not only iCloud storage, but apps, music, and anything else available on iTunes. 